Well, that's beautiful. That's even better. Come on. We're looking at this as the Italian salami and cheese selection, which includes Napoli salami, provolone cheese, and Hungary's salami. The dog is going mental. Provolone cheese. Kind of reminds me of a dream I had once. Me and someone else had bought some provolone cheese, and then we had to divvy the cheese up between us, but I got a, a, a raw deal for some reason. Anyway, that's just a dream. Napoli salami and Hungary's salami. Two slices and one slice is all that's left. Oh no, well, two slices of each. I made a pizza with it and it was uh, delicious. I just did this video. I forgot to press record on the microscope. Almost soul destroyed. Napoli salami dried out a bit here. Get it under the microscope. So this is the edge. A nice cut there. They're a the little brown, but uh, I, don't, I don't know. There's loads of bits that are like brown or black or black with a wee hole in the middle i don't know what it is i think it's some sort it might be some sort of like mold but like a like a, a decent cheese maybe there was salami's moldy if you know let me know in the comments this is made up of pork there and little spirals of fat marblings of fat if you will I'll just look right across it here you can see the pork right up there it's a lovely bit of fat the fat adds the saltiness i guess and also it's cured so, so it'll be salty anyway. It's quite delicious this stuff. Amazing on like a cracker and then one of these and then a bit of cheese and then another bit on top and then, then that'll just do you nicely for until it's finished. So don't mess them out. This is in the dried section. There we go. There's another one of these black rim thing with a white bit in the middle. I don't know what it is but I'm gonna say it must be some sort of like mold which is fine. If you know what it is let me know in the comments because I would appreciate that. Um, I don't claim to be any sort of salami expert. Right, we'll come around further around this dried out bit here. Oh, you can see it's a little bit loose there. Very, very greasy right up close to the microscope here and you can see the, the lines of the muscle, I guess, in the pork and it's all rolled in a sausage and then thinly sliced. You can see the slice. Oh, there's another one of the black bits there. You can see the slice there. I mean, this is maybe, maybe a bit of, less than a millimetre thick. You can see that decent slice there. Coming around this dried out bit again. You see it's a different colour because the meat sort of goes red when it's dry. Oh, where were they? We missed that big one. There's the big black circle bit there and it does look like, it looks even more so like mould there with that big hole in the middle. Cool. At this sort of magnification, it is starting to look like something that's a bit NSFW. And that's what Napoli salami looks like under the microscope. Well, I need to put this away before the dogs go absolutely mental. Unger... Ungaris salami, if that's how you say it. If that's not how you say it, please tell me how you say it. This one's like more thin, it's a bit transparent, a different sort of structure. This one has loads of big, big chunks of fat in it. This one's got tiny bits of fat. Tiny bits of fat. All the way through it, this one's got quite a big bits where there's no fat, and then big bits where there is fat, and this one's a more uniform sort of small bits of fat everywhere. Let's get it under the scope. Oofed. That is a lot more greasy than the other one, isn't it? Well, the dogs can smell this. The meaty red bits and then the white fatty bits and it's just sort of marbled all the way through. There's a, a particularly white fatty bit there and there's loads of meaty bits in between. Like it's just a, a mishmash of meat and fat and meat and fat and meat and fat and meat and fat and meat and fat. Right, anyway, that's it for McMicroscopia this week. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, and uh, I'll see you. Ne see you next time.